top story this evening. The Board of Trustees at Georgetown College firing its president, William Jones, after a female college employee accused him of sexual assault. And this isn't the first sexual assault involving the college in recent years. We have live team coverage tonight. In just a couple of minutes, LAX 18's Lee Searcy explains why a former student who was raped on campus says it's a hostile environment. But first, LAX 18's Mike Valenti is live outside Georgetown College with more against the allegations against the now former president of the college. It's our big story at six. Yeah, Nancy, according to the school, the board learned of the allegations Sunday. And then when board members met Monday, William Jones was out of a job. A press release announcing his firing claimed in addition to the sexual assault allegation, he allegedly engaged in inappropriate behavior with another female college employee. It also cited other conduct in violation of Jones employment agreement, but did not go into specifics on that front. LEX 18 did obtain a copy of an emergency protective order filed yesterday against William Jones. In it, the alleged victim said she was afraid for her safety. She also said she was sexually harassed while on a work trip. The order goes on to say Jones sexually assaulted her. You'd never expect anyone until it happens, you know. It's a little embarrassing kind of be a part of knowing that your president, the face of your school, committed such a, you know, crime. In a, in a statement, Chairman of the Board of Trustees Robert Mills said Georgetown College does not tolerate violence or misuse of authority. He went on to say we hold our administrators, students and faculty to the highest standards of moral and ethical conduct. We are surprised and deeply disappointed by what we have learned, end quote. Mills also expressed his confidence in Provost Dr. Rosemary Allen, who will now step into the role as acting president. We're live in Georgetown. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.